Hey guys, it's Leanne and I'm here today to talk about The Trouble with Peace by Joe Abercrombie. So <laughs> I have been talking about this book since about a year ago when I finished A Little Hatred <laughs> and I was like, what do I do until The Trouble with Peace comes out? So it came out and I instantly read it. So now what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> until the next book comes out. If that is not apparent, um, big fan. Big, 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 big fan of Jill Abercrombie in general, but The Trouble With Peace, I expected it to be good. I expected it to be my favorite book of the year. It's my new favorite Abercrombie book of all time ever. Oh boy. Okie dokie. So I'm terrible at positive reviews because I just, I'm just like, this is so great. You should read it. It's wonderful. It's perfect. Don't change anything. It's delightful. Um, 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 um. The Trouble With Peace is the second book in the Age of Madness trilogy, which is Joe Abercrombie's new trilogy that takes place in the world of the first law, but it is its own new trilogy that takes place about 30 years after the events uh, conclude at the end of the first law trilogy. And it has some new characters that you meet in A Little Hatred. It has some characters that you already knew from the first law trilogy. It is very much a continuation, but it's also very much its own trilogy. So yeah, I'm a big, big fan of A Little Hatred. When I read A Little Hatred, it dethroned my former favorite Abercrombie book, which was Best Served Cold, which is one of the standalones. Now The Trouble With Peace. Okay, so like I just finished this last night <laughs> and I read it in like two days. So I'm very fresh off of it. So I haven't really had time to digest it. Maybe I shouldn't be filming this review right now, but also <laughs> I want to talk about it immediately. Ah, <laughs> this is gonna be the worst review that I've ever filmed. If you love Joe Abercrombie, and if you loved A Little Hatred, then you will adore The Trouble With Peace because it is amazing. It's doing all the amazing things that A Little Hatred did, all the amazing things that A Little Hatred set up and um, running with them. <laughs> and <laughs> I can't, I mean, I'm gonna film a spoilery review because this is just nuts. Like I literally can't talk about it without spoilers. And I also can't talk about it coherently just being vague about it because I'm just like it's great it's perfect it's delightful it's delicious it's dark it's it's incredible but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try I'm gonna try so this new trilogy does take place in a more industrialized world with populist uprisings and that kind of thing which is very relevant for the times it feels very relevant for the times as you're reading it you're just like oh man I, I understand what's going on here like I've seen it. IRL. So in that sense, it's just, it resonates with a modern reader because you're, it's, it's very, it's a little too familiar. But what Abercrombie has always excelled at is character work. So the plot is filled with battle and twists and turns and betrayals and politics and all that gritty, wonderful stuff that you're, that you love about Abercrombie books in general. And then the character work, which again is something that if you love Abercrombie, you also already know, already expect, already love. The character work is just, I'm never not amazed by it though. Even though I go into every Abercrombie book expecting really character work, when he does it, I'm still always gobsmacked. I'm still always just thinking to myself like, oh my God, how do you do this though? Every single character is so fully fleshed out, so completely realized, such a human being that leaps off the page that you feel you know, you can see them, you understand them, you get them, you get what they're about. And even then they surprise you because just because you get what somebody is like and what they're into and what their sensibilities are and what type of person they are what drives them even if you know a lot about a person they can still surprise you and they do so it's never predictable just because you know the character so well it's never ever predictable the characters surprise themselves and oh 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 it's so so good so good so good i really enjoyed Savine Danglakta and a little hatred getting to know her i thought she was incredibly well written and she continues to be extremely well written um i did enjoy orso's character in a little hatred i absolutely did but orso the way that he grows and changes in this book was exceptional and I actually like looked forward to his chapters a lot more than I did in A Little Hatred like I still I loved every bit of A Little Hatred and I enjoyed his chapters a lot but in this book I more so looked forward to Orso's chapters which if you read A Little Hatred and you felt like me where you're just like yeah he was great because everything was great but you weren't like that enamored with his plot line or his perspective that much I think you'll find his perspective is um it's one of the best ones in, in the trouble with peace it's it's so excellent you, you've got some moments with galacta which i absolutely live for there are I, I, again some a lot of the brilliance a lot of the brilliant moments a lot of the things in the book that had me going <sighs> i can't talk about because they're all completely spoilery 
or if not spoilery, there's something that just won't make any sense to you unless I just tell you the entire plot so you understand how we got to that point and then I can tell you that point and at that point you may as well just fucking read the book. Ugh, it's so deliciously, deliciously dark. What a ride. Also, I will say this, I recently filmed and I don't know if it's gone up as of the filming of, as of like this video going up, I don't know if that other video has been posted yet but I filmed a video that was reacting to one star reviews for my favorite books and one of the books that I decided to do was A Little Hatred and uh, I saw some reviews for A Little Hatred that were one complaining about there being female characters in A Little Hatred just like ugh <laughs> oh my. Uh, but also complaining that A Little Hatred wasn't dark enough there wasn't enough battle there wasn't enough grit there wasn't enough violence which I think is also completely insane because A Little Hatred is exceptionally dark you don't have to have a literal battle for a book to be dark but these are clearly fools because they gave a little hatred one star. So I don't know why I was expecting them to be in any way intelligent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. If you were one of those numb nuts who were disappointed that a little hatred didn't have a literal battle in it, there's a literal battle in The Trouble with Peace. So ironically, the one that's got peace in the title, that's the one that's got a battle. And boy, does it ever. If that's what you wanted, if that's what you were hoping for, if you felt let down, well, here's your book. There is battle in here. So enjoy. What else can I say? I don't know. I, I don't know. Just it's, it's amazing. Read it. I love Abercrombie. He's an absolute favorite author of mine. And this is my favorite thing he's ever written. And I was la okay. He's got great humor, which I think I don't really talk about that much. I just talk about how he's got great prose and great character work but like he's got like a solid jokes <laughs> so more so than before when I read Abercrombie books I usually think to myself how witty that was or think to myself like oh that was most excellent I was actually laughing out loud with some of the jokes in the trouble with these I wasn't like guffaws but like chuckling and teeing <laughs> some of the jokes which were like really solid like honestly okay yeah so again those those dumbasses that gave a little hatred one star who had a problem with Rika because she's a young female, therefore a little hatred is YA. Oh my god, what are you smoking? <laughs> anyway, Rika, uh, her chapters also I really enjoyed more so than in A Little Hatred. And again, I enjoyed Rika's chapters in A Little Hatred. But even more so in Trouble with Peace, she's really grown into her own, much the way that Orso has. Her interactions with Asterna Fail were... <laughs> like I, still, I laughed. Like, I actually laughed. Yeah. <sighs> so good. So fucking good. I just, how are you supposed to review books positively? That's what, that's my question. So all my reviews are with the negative ones. Cause if it's negative, I'd be like, this should be fixed. This should be changed. This would have been better if it was like this. It would have been better overall if this had been taken out. With a perfect book, you're just like, I would change nothing. I just think you should read it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Just, it's, it's fantastic and absolute joy to read it. I'm just so upset that I have to wait a year for the next book, but I'm also delighted that Abercrombie is on this like very definite schedule of a book a year. So I know that next September I will have another one. And I believe it's called The Madness of the Wheel. I might be completely wrong about that. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know how Abercrombie's mind is capable of doing this. It's truly astonishing and I'm gobsmacked as usual and it's just, I don't know what else to tell you I don't just fucking read it let me know in the comments down below if you're a big fan of Joe Abercrombie if this review was in any way helpful to you which I'm seriously doubting <laughs> I feel like if you've already read it then you can enjoy this and be like yeah I feel you girl it's great it's so great right it's so great but if you haven't read it and you're hoping to understand a little bit about what's in it and what to expect. Expect greatness. Done. <laughs> oh, let me know in the comments down below all the things Abercrombie related. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays, so like and subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye.